Hey guys, it's Lee here from Click Studios. I've made another video today. Uh, this one is of our remote site locations module, which is an additional add-on to the core password state vault. This add-on helps you manage disjointed or firewalled networks, and this video will show you what this module is capable of. Let's start with showing you a few things that I've already set up on my system in preparation for this video. Okay, so I've added in a trial license which unlocks this remote site locations area in administration. And I've also added in a remote site called SAN Domain. SAN Domain is also the net BIOS name for the domain at my remote site, which happens to be an internal firewall domain. However, this module will also work with networks that you don't have a direct connection to, for example, networks over the internet. And all the work is performed by a single agent that you install inside that network. This agent will perform all discoveries, password resets, account heartbeats, and can even allow you to RDP or SSH directly into machines on that network, all over a secure HTTPS connection. The data sent through this HTTPS connection is also encrypted further by our software, making it completely secure. You can have multiple agents at multiple sites, and they'll all be centrally managed from your internally hosted password state website. I've already installed one agent on a Windows server in this SAN domain network, and as you can see, it is communicating successfully back to my internally hosted password state instance by looking at this agent health icon here. Next, I've added in my SAN domain domain into my system, and I've assigned a privileged account to it. This privileged account is an account in the SAN domain network that has enough permissions to read Active Directory, reset passwords on hosts, and also in Active Directory. But you can have multiple privileged accounts if you want them to be responsible for different activities. But for the purpose of this video, I've kept it simple with one single account. So what I'll do now is perform my first job on this remote network, which is to discover any Windows machines and import them into password state. I'll do this by running this pre-configured host discovery job. And as you can see, it's going to attempt to discover Windows 10 machines in the SAN domain site. And to show you what we're expecting to find, I'm already remoted into my domain controller on the SAN domain network. And there are two Windows 10 machines in here that this host discovery job should import into password state. Now the agent on the remote site polls once every five minutes back to password state looking for any new jobs to perform. So I'll pause this video now and I'll return again once the discovery job is complete. Okay, I'm back again now. It's a few minutes since uh, I've paused the video and I've just received an email from my system alerting me that the discovery job is complete and it has in fact found those two Windows 10 machines. If I look in password state hosts now and filter on the SAN domain site, you'll see that those two Windows 10 machines are now in my system. Now what I'll do now is I'll run an account discovery job that I've already set up before recording this video and I'll run it against these Windows 10 machines. This discovery job will look for any local administrator accounts on these machines and it will import them into a password list that I've already created and finally it will reset their passwords upon discovery. Now with any discovery job they can be set up to run on a schedule but I'll quickly run this job again now from the actions menu I'll pause the video and I'll be back in a few minutes when it's finished. Okay, for a second time now I'm back and I've received another email alerting me that the discovery job has completed and it's found quite a few accounts on both of these Windows 10 machines and it's already reset their password to a randomly generated one. You'll see that all of the password resets were successful and they're all in sync because the heartbeat icon is green. It's also set an expiry date on each record, which means when these expiry dates tick over, it will automatically reset their passwords again to another random password. If you need to remote into any of the machines on your remote site, our remote site locations module now supports this and I'll quickly demonstrate how to do it. Once again, it doesn't matter if it's an internal firewall network or if it's over the internet. I'll add a folder and tag it with my remote site and then I'll add in my two Windows 10 machines. All I need to do now is choose one of the admin accounts that we previously discovered and click the auto launch button. This will open an RDP session right within my browser 
and I can start doing any work that I need to do. You can set up a domain account to be used instead of these local admin accounts to, to make the connections if required. And this session is fully audited of who's remoting in from what IP address. And you can even record the sessions too in a video format um, to play back at a later date. Another time saving tool that is built into this remote site module is a bulk reset option for departing employees. Under normal circumstances, you'd have to manually remote into your remote network and reset the passwords one at a time, which could take many hours. We have a feature under password list called bulk password resets, which can do this for you in minutes. Simply choose the departing employee, select whether you would like all of the passwords reset that that employee's got access to, or just the ones that the employee has seen since it was last reset, and choose a time to execute the password resets. You can either do it immediately or schedule it later for when it's not inside business hours. All of these password resets will be added into the queue, and it doesn't matter if you have two or 200, the agent will process them all automatically for you. So that describes how to use our remote site module to manage your remote networks easily. If you'd like to trial out the agent with an unlimited amount of sites, please contact us on support at clickstudios.com.au and we can send you a trial license keys with some instructions on how to get it set up. If you have any other questions as well, we'd also be more than happy to answer them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.